Hi everyone. Hi. Good afternoon. Thank you. Thank you all for being here. I hope you uh, have had a great morning and uh, welcome. Welcome to our training session. I can see uh, many uh, new new people joining us. Uh, people who may it's it may be their first session. Uh, let me see Ratiba. Uh, Chico, I think it's, it's Joseph, yeah. Akhtar, welcome, welcome uh, to those who have joined us for uh, the first time, if it's your first session, and welcome to everyone. Thank you all for joining, and thank you for joining here every week. Sorry, uh, I think I'm having a connection problem. Can you guys hear me? Yes, we can. Oh, thank you. Yes. Thanks. Right. So welcome once again, and thank you for being here. Thank you for being here every week, and uh, your presence here is what uh, giving us motivation to uh, keep moving forward. Um, before we start, just uh, remember that these sessions are being recorded, and they're going to be uploaded on our uh, YouTube channel. So uh, just remember that and uh, love to see your faces, and, uh, turn your cameras on so we can have a more engaging session. That would be great. And uh, before we start, uh, I think you all, and um, you may all know about our partnership with ACCA in ACC Advantage program. Uh, it has been a uh, big news for us in Market Foundation. I think you have to about it a lot, but I just wanted to let you know that it's not uh, the end because there are going to be more news on how this uh, partnership will, how we are going to um, uh, collaborate with uh, ACCA on this ACC Advantage program uh, with uh, universities in UK. So just, uh, I just wanted to let you know that uh, stay tuned for more news and more updates on how it's uh, going to be. And also another news is that uh, for those uh, who are interested in joining ACCA and uh, who are not a part of ACCA uh, yet, I uh, wanted to let you know that you can always, uh, you know, keep me informed if you want to join ACCA and we can uh, organize you induction with ACCA since we are a partner now with them. So uh, we can help you join, uh, join ACCA and uh, register it easier, I can say, and we can support you during uh, that period. So just let me know. I will um, put my email on the chat box in case you don't have my email. So you can uh, let me know if you want to it's, it's, uh, uh, you want to register to ACCA and start uh, for the exams and everything. So we can uh, plan for you, you know, the inductions and uh, et cetera, yeah. So today, I think we are on the second session of the month, which means uh, we are uh, on stage one still. And so um, if you have any questions about the stage one or any other stages of Moracle Accountancy Formula, you can have your questions at the end of the session. We have a minute question and answer. So you can ask all your questions uh, and on that time. So I think that's it for me and to you more light. Thank you all and hope we have a great session together. Thank you, Sepede. Thank you. Um, thank you for the great work that you guys are doing. Uh, the Marco Foundation, um, really appreciate you know everything that you and the team are doing uh, to organize sessions like this, but also with the work that uh, we're doing out there. There's so much that we're doing out there. Um, I know at the moment the focus is with the ACCA and the ACCA Advantage program. Uh, again, the big appeal and thinking, you know, of uh, doing the ACCA program. Yes, uh, you have not registered yet. You know, come through to us, you know, so that we can get you to register through the ACCA Advantage. And what advantage is, uh, I want to emphasize that, you know, there is a easy way it is called advantage 
yes, okay. And uh, because there are so many good things, yes, that ACC has, um, has got within that package, yeah. And uh, I would advise, you know, to really, you know, take advantage of that advantage, yes, okay. Uh, luckily, we were part of the program. So uh, from uh, inception, Morocco Foundation was involved, you know, and um, and uh, we're so proud, you know, uh, to see, you know, the work that we've put in, the meetings, the discussions, you know, ACC is listening. And it's, uh, it's another thing about the profession. The profession is listening, yes. Um, and it's good, you know, because, you know, when they are listening, that means, you know, uh, that we can, you know, we can voice out concerns. Yeah, and um, don't think that, well, you are within, you know, uh, some organization, you know, that don't listen yeah, to people. Yes, <laughs> they are listening. Yes, I know they still need to do some more work, but to be honest, they are listening. Yeah, so Advantage Program, if you really want to get onto ACC, if you're not registered yet, yeah, please uh, let us know. Uh, it's a bit cheaper, you know, and then you get some good exemptions. But the, one of the good stuff, you know, that you get with the advantage, you get to be sent, you know, to programs like this. So you come, you know, and register with more called foundation and to get your training. Yeah, three months training. Yeah, it's, uh, it's really good. Yeah, okay. Um, and yes, the um, uh, information is there. Admin at morecool-foundation.org.uk. Yeah, go to our website as well or social media, engage with us. Yeah, it would be great. So thank you again. And thank you, you know, for um, joining us, all of you. And um, it's always a pleasure to see uh, to see you stop, you know, uh, whatever it is that you're doing, yes, and uh, on a Thursday, yes, uh, to come and participate here. Really, I take my hat off to you. Week after week, you know, you guys are doing it. Yeah, so it's good. And I hope that, what you are getting from here yeah. uh, a webinar, you know, to just some um, update things. Yeah, to just give us a reminder of, uh, you know, this molecular accountancy formula that we preach about every day. Yeah, the real practical training work, yeah, you got to come in and join the program. Yes, you got to come in and join the program. Yeah, and that program, when you join, you know, uh, either in an intern, you know, or through the SEC Advantage program, or, you know, you come through the molecular a lot more yeah so first day is you know like this you know uh, it's just about you know uh, um, sharing some good you know uh, good examples yes and uh, practical work but also to remind us you know of the this molecular accountancy formula yes that we talk about and the way we do things yeah that's what this this Thursday sessions are meant to do so it's not our training yes the, the actual training itself you know, you actually actually be, you know, present, you know, and to do a lot more, yeah. Okay, so yes, we are on stage one, and um, let me share uh, the molecular accountancy formula. Um, this formula, you know, and um, um, it's the formula that we use, yeah, uh, within you know molecule. Um, audit practice. So more cool itself. How do we serve our clients? Yes, uh, we have a process and this is the process. Yes, it's a formula that we've designed you know, and then apply, you know, for all the clients that we have. Yeah, okay. Uh, it's got six stages. 
Stage one, management information systems. Stage two, management accounts and value added. Stage three, the statutory accounts and scheduling. Stage number four, taxation. Stage number five, is the reporting and stage number six is filing with the authorities and i'm asking guys yes and uh and appealing to you guys um i want you guys to paint this picture yeah to paint this picture this picture yeah is the picture you know that i want you to have if you are actually working in the finance function yeah, every organization that is out, out there, every business that's out there, whether it be small, medium, or large, whatever it is that you want to call it, a structure. Yes, uh, this picture, yes, uh, is what you want to keep in your mind. If you are involved, yeah, you're working, yeah, in the industry, yeah, within the finance function, yeah, you're going to be going through these six stages. If you're working in an accounting practice where you're serving clients, yes, the businesses that you are actually serving as clients, yes, they are going to be needing these six stages, yeah, within the finance function. Yeah. So that is the coverage. I want you guys to actually hold this through. Yes. And not only just to, to say, oh, well, okay, Mola is talking about it. I want you, again, I'm appealing to you guys to believe in this. Yes. And when you believe in this, I'm telling you, you're going to make it easier, you know, to put it into practice. Yeah. So we're working things down, yeah, to make things look simple. Yes. Simple. And we want to make it look easy. Yeah. Simple and easy. Yeah. Okay. Stage number one. Management information systems. Why do we call it management information systems? People ask me the question all the time. Um, why don't you call it bookkeeping? It's the bookkeeping. It's the first stage. Everybody talks about bookkeeping. Yes. Uh, when we come into you know the world of accounting, the first word you know that we learn is one of those. Yes, bookkeeping. Yes, uh, where you're going to be you know uh, recording data. Yes, just record and record and record and record and reconcile in some cases. Yes, and some other cases, you know, you analyze. Yes, and uh, you 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 do you know some aspect, you know, um, uh, some of those journal those adjustments. Yeah. Um, but bookkeeping, yes, as I, for one, you know, uh, don't like the word bookkeeping anymore. Because you know, uh, it's my experience. Yes, uh, I've done this for over thirty years now. Yes, I've done the work myself. You know, um, be in the front end. You know, where I am recording. You know, capturing data, reconciling, and doing things. You know, and then um, uh, I've been on the other side where I am the accountant, external accountant. You know, uh, coming in when somebody has done the books. You know, and then I do the accounts. You know, or do some management account. But also, I've changed my heart, you know, several times, you know, where I come in as the auditor, yes, where somebody has done the bookkeeping, somebody has done the accounts, and then now I'm coming to do the audit. So I've seen it all, yeah, and the word bookkeeping for me, yes, I don't like to use it anymore, yes, because, you know, uh, not that I'm against bookkeepers, you know, or the profession, it's because it's, um, it's a, a body out there, yeah, yeah, big body of bookkeepers, yeah, and you got certifications as well. Yeah, uh, and bookkeeping. But the word bookkeeping, you know, I think we, um, sorry, uh, 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 we are demeaning what we're doing, you know, stand within this process, this stage, this first stage. Yes. Um, and I want us to look at it, you know, from a different angle. And the angle is basically to look at it beyond numbers. It is beyond numbers. It is beyond just posting transaction after the event yes i say after the event you know uh you don't involve so the bookkeeper does not get involved yeah in the decision making or in actually you know uh, making payments or raising invoices or maybe chasing you know uh doing the credit control or maybe setting up systems within 
that bookkeeper is just there to just to record transactions after the end of the you know uh, a particular point in time. Uh, I want a bank statement, you know, so I can post. Uh, I want you know um, uh, the checkbook, you know, those days, so that I can post. Um, we are saying management information system, particularly now, where it's not only about the accounting side we're talking about, you've got artificial intelligence. There's no way now you will be anywhere, you know, where, you know, you don't allow artificial intelligence to happen. Yeah, you cannot. Yeah, so the accounting, you know, side of it, you know, knowing your double entry, your debits and your credits. Yes, um, been there, understand what that means. Yes, uh, for any transaction, you know where the debit is, you know where the credit is. Yeah, is this going to be affecting the income statement or the balance sheet? Yes, as the case may be. Yeah, uh, you understand your trial balance inside out. So I always have this short formula. Yeah, profit loss account or the income statement plus the balance sheet or the financial position. You add those two together, it will give you your, your trial balance. Yes. Okay. Uh, so if you take your trial balance, yes, uh, out of your trial balance, you can produce your income statement and you can produce your balance sheet. Okay. That formula needs to be in your mind. You need to understand the formula inside out. Yeah. Okay. But it is not only that. Now you need to be able to apply, you know, artificial intelligence. Yes. The way the systems are now. QuickBooks. Yes. Uh, zero sage yeah these are the three packages that we promote here at Morico. there are so many different accounting uh, 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 software out there but for Morico, there's a three software that we specialize in quickbooks zero and sage well packed within the software yeah so much artificial intelligence to allow transactions to be posted you know efficiently Yes, uh, to get your bank, for example, your bank is now connected to your accounting system. Your bank accounts, all of those bank accounts need to be connected to QuickBooks if you're using QuickBooks. Your bank account needs to be connected to zero, all of the bank accounts, or your bank account needs to be connected with Sage. That's the first thing that you want to make sure that happens and you'll be able to see artificial intelligence, you know, working. It's a matter of just pressing your button when the connection is there, you know, update or download or whatever it is. Yes, this information is downloaded from the bank, you know, uh, all the time. Yes. Uh, you want to allow that to happen. Yes. Uh, so, you know, you, your bookkeeping, yes, your double entry fundamental is there, but you want to be able to make sure that, you know, the AI is actually working. Yes. So the banks are connected. Your sales ledger, for you to be able to raise the sales invoice. Yes. If the system, if there is a system or CRM system that exists, where all the, the customer related information exists outside of the accounting system, yeah, where information is captured, for example, timesheet is recorded. Yes, then you want the system, yes, the CRM system to be connected to the accounting system because you know sales invoices are going to be raised and if they're going to be raised or if they are raised outside of the accounting system, then you don't want to duplicate that effort. You want the sales invoice information to be actually connected and sent directly to the accounting system. So you want that to happen, yes? Uh, your purchase invoices, when suppliers are sending purchase invoices, you don't want to go in there and...
uh, your your stuff like it used to be yeah let it be automated you know in the payroll system you know and then file it with um, hmrc and then you send the pay slip to the individuals and then what happens yeah because payroll system is now connected to the accounting system the payroll software to the accounting system how does it do that because it is connected it's a journal yeah that is passed from quickbooks payroll for example to quickbooks account you want to make sure that is in place that is happening if you are vat registered business you want to make sure your accounting system is connected to the hmrc system because you need to file your vat return every quarter and if the account, if you are, the accounting system is not connected to HMRC, you will not be able to file because you are now not able to file your VAT return manually with HMRC. So you've got to make sure your accounting system is connected to HMRC. Your payroll, before you file with HMRC, you've got to make sure your payroll is connected with HMRC. So all of these connectivities yeah, need to happen. Yeah, instead number one. So that's the reason why we don't see it as bookkeeping. We see it as it's a management information system, different systems coming together, yeah, in the first stage, yeah, to make you know it easier for data to be data is data is analyzed and that data is reconciled. Yeah, all the different systems, they're all connected. They're all integrated, yeah, for that purpose. To capture the data, record the data, analyze the data, and reconcile. And once you've done that, yes, uh, then you begin to say, well, okay, now, um, what's the next step? The next step, you know, at the end of every month, yes, uh, management account needs to be done. Yeah. Do one. You are not just going to pull out the information that you just uh, captured, recorded, analyzed, and reconciled. Yes, and give out and say, "Here is my management account." No, that's not what you're going to do. Yes, you want to be able to say, "This is the act." Actual position and to compare the actual, you know, with a budget. Number one, we want to make sure that we've got a budget. That budget, yeah, should be prepared and that budget should be approved by those charged with governance who are charged with strategic decision making. Yes, and the budget, it needs to go into the accounting system. So if you're using QuickBooks or using Zero or Sage, Yes, you should be able to have the budget within QuickBooks or within Zero or Sage. You should not be comfortable sitting there, you know, and you don't know or you don't have a budget. Yes, if you are involved in stage number one. So most of the time, you know, uh, bookkeeper will say, well, no, sorry, oh, well, I'm not involved in the budget, you know. I'm here just to record, you know, uh, the actual position. Well, I'm saying here, for management information systems, this stage, this number one stage, this big stage, this vital stage, this first stage that we're talking about here, so important. You want to make sure that you got budget in there. And I'm saying, you know, I get a little bit more emotional. I'm telling you because, you know, and um, um, to be involved and saying you're serving a client and or you are yes you were doing work you are recording you know actual transaction and um and you don't have sight you know uh, you don't know whether there's a budget yes you are just posting things for the sake of posting yes and i'm telling you it's a thing to do yes so again i'm sitting down here i'm talking about nothing uh and say bookkeeping is not, you know, okay, uh, should not be there. But most times, that's what bookkeepers are doing. 
they're saying, well, I'm just here to post, you know, what has happened. They don't have any regard to the budget, what the organization was thinking, you know, sometime, yeah, in the past. And all he's doing is just posting. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. So I want you guys, yes, really, if you're listening to me here, you have to take this into consideration. Wherever you are, if you are involved in stage number one, we'll reconciling data, yeah, you want to make sure there is a budget. There has to be a budget, and that budget needs to be in the accounting system. If it's not there, I think, you know, uh, more like, you know, I should not be posting actual if there's no budget. to QuickBook Zero or Sage, guys, please make it, yes, that the first thing that you want to check for, to see that there is budget within the accounting system. If it's not there, then you know what? Uh, I'm saying go and have a nice conversation, you know, with your senior guy, yeah, with your boss or the person who gave you the job. Yeah, you need a budget. Every business needs a budget, yes? Whether it's in the back of the envelope a budget, but you need a budget. I mean, you see here, you know, uh, every government, yes, uh, they have their budget, yes, uh, the budget time for the budget for the country. You see the chancellor here, you know, of the exchequer here in the UK, you know, uh, have this um this red you know briefcase. You understand? Uh, it stands there, it holds it like this, you know, and say this is the budget, guys. Yes, we give him the the okay, you know, to go and spend money. Yes. We need a budget. Every business need a budget, guys. Yeah, don't be comfortable just being there posting what is actually happened. You want to see what was budgeted. Yes, okay. Stage number one. Yeah, so important because stage number two needs that. Yes, you might not. You might not be the one that is doing stage number two. Or in some cases, you are the same person doing stage number two. Yes? But when you are in stage number one, you have to make sure there's budget in there. Yes? And that budget should be in the accounting system. Okay. The next bit that I want to talk about here in stage number one, which is so, so important, the financial procedure manual. Yes? Uh, how many times, you know, in my auditing have I gone in there? The first thing I'm asking for, you know, uh, in the finance department, please, can I get your financial procedure manual? Why? Because I want to know about this organization a little bit more, how things are done here. The auditor is not there, you know, throughout the year. Yes. The financial procedure manual, yeah, is the manual that says, this is how we do things here. Yes. This is how we post to our sales invoices. This is how we post our purchase invoices. This is how we do our bank reconciliation. This is how we authorize payments. This is how we do it. This is how, this is how. Yeah? So you want that document to be there somewhere. So if you are in the finance function, stage number one, I am asking you, ask for that document. Yes? Ask for that document. If that document is not there, yes, uh, let them know, you know, that it's so important that that document exists. It should be there. And if it's not there, yes, take it on. Yeah, come and meet me. Let's talk about it. I'll give you a template and we'll work on it, you know, for you to give your organization that blessing and that benefit. Every organization out there, yeah, needs the financial procedure manual. Yes. Uh, whether it is a small business, a medium-sized business, a large business, a multinational business, yeah, it's the same. It's a business. 
a business in the finance function, we need, you know, where things are, just like in a car. Yes, uh, every car has got a manual. Yeah, you don't say, oh, well, because it's small, you know, uh, so it doesn't need a manual. Yeah, or manual is only for the big cars or sophisticated cars. No, every car has got manual. Yes, okay. The only problem we all go with the manual, you know, those manuals are sitting somewhere where we don't even look at it. <laughs> yes, yeah, until something happens, you know, you say, oh, okay, let me go and look at the manual. Yeah, in a way. Yes, uh, that's not how we treat this financial procedure manual. That manual, you should be looking at it at all times. Yes, because it needs updating. Take, for example, if a manual yeah, was done before COVID, yes, think about it. Now, post-COVID, things are done now differently. So if that manual has not been updated, yeah, that manual is out of date. Yeah, because now things are done differently. Yes. Uh, now you got, you know, a uh, uh, virtual way of working. And that virtual way of working, yeah, it's new. Yeah, for so many different businesses. Yeah. Well, if that manual is not updated to reflect that, then that manual is out of date. So you got to be able to update that manual. Yes. Now in the office now, we got, you know, well, you know, uh, uh, two days or one day, you know, you go to the office, you know, and then the other days you're working from home. Yeah, hybrid way of working. Well, that needs to be recorded within the manual. It's got to be updated. Yeah, these are all new things, new ways of working. Yes. Uh, like for us now at Moecool, every day we have, you know, uh, for the first half an hour, we got mindset training. Yes. Nobody talks about accounting. We talk about mindset. Yes. And uh, your mind has to be set on something. Yes, we talk about it every morning. Yeah, okay. Well, before COVID, yes, okay, we were doing it. But before we started doing this, we were not doing this. Yeah, so the manual that we have have to be updated to reflect that. The staff handbook that we have, yes, yeah, got to be updated to say, you know, every day now at Moreco, yes, we stop from 9 to 9.30. And what do we do? We do mindset training. Yeah, whereby people, you know, lead, you know, on topics, varying topics. Yeah, we are now growing leaders, accountants who can speak, because accountants need to communicate. Accountants need to speak to other people. Accountants need to be accounted for. Accountants need to show up. That's why we're doing the mindset training. Yeah, because accounting, you know, just sitting down in your own small corner, you know, uh, I'm telling you, that's sedentary lifestyle. You know, we are so shy, not wanting to talk to people. And we are dealing with people. We're dealing with their finances. But we're not happy to talk to people. Yes? We are shy. You know? Uh, no. So our mindset training help us, you know, to produce leaders, yes, that can communicate, that are comfortable talking to the people about the subject matter, you know, talking to people, leaving people with the impression of increase at all times. This is why we do a mindset training every morning. Yeah? One of the key reasons, just to help people, you know, uh, to be able to close that gap. Because it's a gap. It's a paradigm. Yeah, that needs to be shifted. Yes? They say accountants are boring. No, we are not boring. If you're working for Moracle, never. Yes? Um, but the mindset that we bring to work, the attitude that we bring to work, is so important as accountant to be able to respect, you know, one another, to be able to respect the client, yes? Understand where the client is coming from. Now, in accounting or the profession, we're not only talking about just, you know, uh, professional skepticism, doubting and doubting and questioning things. You know, we also have to apply emotional intelligence, yes? Understand your own emotions, but also understand the emotions of other people. How do you do that? Yes, we expect, you know, somebody to just, you know, wake up, you know, and then be able to deal with emotional intelligence like that. No, you've got to be trained to do it. That's why we incorporate mindset into our training. Yeah, we stop every day, half an hour. Yes, and we have training sessions. So for those of you who are coming through the Moracle, 
you know, training program, mindset training is a big part. Yes. Uh, to shift your mind, I'm telling you, you know, the paradigm way of thinking or doing things, shifting, yes, and uh, so that, you know, you can serve people. And when you serve, you serve without reservation, yes. Coming back again to this manual, if you're working in an accounting function, in the finance function, and there is no financial procedure manual, yes, I'm asking you guys, take that on as a responsibility. Whether you are a junior person or whatever the position is, ask for it. I always ask, say to people, when you go for interview, you yeah, for a job, one of the questions, you know, that you can ask the panel, yes, is to ask them, yeah, do you have a financial procedure manual? They say, yes, we have one. And then the next question would be, yes, when was it last updated? Yes. And um, you want to ask just kind of relevant question. Well, why are you coming talking to me? You come in here at a low level, entry level, and you're asking about financial procedure manual. Well, you want to be able to ask them and talk to them about it. The importance of financial procedure manual yeah, is so important because the financial procedure manual, it lays down procedures, protocols, uh, processes that, you know, this is how we do things here and everybody needs to follow it. So it's not only for Molai, yes, uh, everybody needs to follow it because that's what it is. Financial procedure manual. This is a procedure, this is a policy, this is a protocols. Yes, this is how things are happening, yes, within the finance function or the organization as a whole. So it is not only for some people, it's for everybody, yeah, who are working within the finance uh, function. So it's so important. Yes, that the finance procedure manual is there. And if it's there, it's relevant, it's updated, you know, to reflect changes that are happening because all the time things are happening. Systems are changing, people are moving, you know. So all of this needs to be updated on a regular basis. Financial procedure manual, the budget, so important. One big thing that we talk about, you know, within stage one is the background information. Oh, boy. Um, we got some project work that, you know, and, um, um, I was talking to my other colleague the other day, you know, uh, uh, in fact, we're going to bring it back, you know, into the training program. Yes. We call it creative project. When you come for the training, you are asked to create, yes, a project. Yes. A business. Yes. Name the business. Yes. And then say what that business is going to do. You understand? And then you go through the process of registering that business within company's house, yeah, HMRC, as the case may be, yes, knowing the activities of that business. And then you're going to design financial information. You're going to create a bank statement. You're going to create, you know, a sales invoice. You're going to create a purchase invoice. And then you're going to create like petty cash and all this stuff. And you're going to post it yourself. Yes. And then once you've done all the posting and then you create a trial balance and from the trial balance, you produce your profit loss account or income statement and the balance sheet. Oh my goodness. We call it a creative project. Now, yes, you the accountant, you are now creating all this information, this, um, what you call it, the source information and you're going to produce, you know, this uh, primary report. Yeah, your trial balance, profit loss account and balance sheet. Okay, interesting. We call it a creative project. And that is what we're going to be doing in the Morocco Accountancy Training Program. Yes? And I'm telling you, yes, uh, if you are able to follow through what I've just said, yes, and you are able to balance your trial balance and balance your balance sheet, yes, uh, nothing is going to phase you out. Nothing. Nothing, I'm telling you, yes, because he's going to put some order in your thought process for stage one. Wherever you go, however messy the situation is, yes, this is order in your thought process, the way you see things, the way you think logically, yes. Sometimes, you know, we get overwhelmed, yes, when, you know, you see the situation in front of you. Well, 
one of the reasons is because, you know, um, uh, our thought process will allow, you know, our thoughts, you know, to carry us, you know, oh my goodness, we can, you know, um, uh, uh, see a situation and then just multiply, you know, the negativity around what is going on. Yes. And again, this is where mindset comes in. It tells you calmness of mind is the best jewel. Yes, that you yourself possess. You need to be able to be calm under the storm. Yes, knowing that you're so, so confident. You know your stuff. Yes, uh, and you're going to fix it. Yeah, you are the Mr. Fixer. Yeah, um, that creative project is really powerful. So when you come, you know, to the training program, one of the key things that you're going to be exposed to is the background information. And the background information, we've got about six basic steps there. If you don't have the template, you know, of the background information, please request, you know, um, send, you know, a request to um, Cepede. Cepede will give you, you know, a copy of the background information. You've got six steps there. Yeah. Uh, there's a seventh one, which is the primary report number seven. But those six steps, the six basic steps, it says, first of all, you want to know what this organization is. Yes, this organization, number one, what is it? What are they doing? What are they set up to do? What's the mission, their vision, their values, their objective, their primary purpose? Why are they in existence? Every accountant, yes, need to understand that. Yes, so you say, oh, I'm a bookkeeper. I don't need to know that. I'm just concentrating on my figures. I want to post. No, sorry. Yes. For you to be able to post, you need to know this organization that you are actually dealing with their finances, recording their finances, you're analyzing it. You need to know what this organization is set out to do. What is it doing? You need to know. Yes. The next thing, what you want to know is, yes, the who is who within the organization, the people. How this organization is constituted? How is it? How is it, you know, the, the organization chart itself? Who is who with this organization? Yes, you bore all shareholders. Yes, do you know them? Then you got the management. Do you know who the management was the CEO? Yes, and if the CEO is there, who is reporting to the CEO? Yeah, underneath the CEO, how many departments do we have? Yes, but more importantly, we have the finance department. Yes, what is the finance department supposed to be doing? You need to know. Yes, you cannot say, oh, well, I'm just recording. I'm just doing my bookkeeping. I don't need to know, you know, um, how this organization is structured. You need to know because you're going to be seeing or coming across figures, yeah, information about individuals. Payroll, for example. Yeah, if you're running payroll, how do you know? These people that you are actually running payroll for, these people are legitimate people, they are bona fide people, they are fit for purpose. But also, have they actually delivered yeah, the services? Why are we paying them? Yes? What you need to know. Not to say, oh, well, okay, you know, I'm just recording because it's gone out to the bank account. What you need to know. You see a name, more like cargo, you want to see more like cargo, is more like cargo a staff. Of Morico. Are you with me? Yes? You want to go to the organization chart? We've got clients at the moment where, you know, I get this um, uh, from my colleagues. They're always telling me, oh, you know, uh, we got, you know, the college order, 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 order payroll. Yes, that means people are being paid, but they're not in the payroll. Hold on. Okay. People are being paid, but they're not in the payroll. Okay. What does that mean? And now you're going to be, you know, involved with that and then sit down and then don't, don't say anything. You just say, okay, well, this is a payment. Let me just record it. No, you need to know. Number two, it says who is who within the organization. You need to know. Yeah, ask for the organization chart. If the organization chart, you don't have it, ask for a copy. Yes, this is one of the questions I always say, ask. You know, and advise people ask and ask big. Don't say because I'm just coming down just to do stage number one, just recording, analyzing, reconciling. Yes, I don't need to know who is who within the organization. Ask for the organization chart. 
Yes, you need to know. Stage number one, you need to know. Yes, if you're involved yeah, in stage number one, you need to know yeah, who is who within the organization. Yes, take it on. The third bit, it says the activities. Where is this, you know, what drives this business? Where is the income coming from? Yes, from different sources. You need to know the different sources that this income is coming from. Yes, and if this income is coming from different sources, then how do we actually get it yeah, into our bank account? Is it through maybe check or maybe you direct credits into a bank account or maybe online payment, like for example, Stripe or got a credit card, you know, machine or merchant? You want to be able to understand that. Income coming from different sources, like for example, us, Moracle, we're providing different services, accounting service, auditing services, VAT, taxation, yeah, so different services, yes. Our clients are paying us different, yes. When they're paying us, some are paying us, you know, by, you know, credit transfer or standing order or, or they make payments, you know, whatever way, yeah, by credit cards. But you need to know that. You need to understand that. If this money is in here, how do you spend it? Yes, how do you spend that money? Yeah, your suppliers, your key suppliers, who are they? Your key customers, who are those people? Yes, this information needs to be in your accounting system. Yes, so your activity is, yes, uh, you need to understand the activities. Income, your cost of sales, and the overheads. For charities, all the income, different types of income, donations and legacies, grants, charitable activity, fundraising, Yes, you need to be able to understand, you know, all of these different types of income. Yes, what is support cost? What is governance cost? You need to be able to understand that. Yeah, so that you can design, you know, your accounting system. Yes, and then be able to post it. Number four, if you know all of these activities, the next bit that you need to focus on, it helps you to design your chart of accounts. Because the chart of account is what drives the reports that are going to come out. If the chart of account is not fit for purpose, if the chart of account is not adaptable, if the chart of account does not fit this purpose for the organization, then you're going to be having you know, problems in reporting, even in capturing the financial data. So number four, yes, in the background information, it says designing the chart of account. But you need to have sufficient knowledge about the activities of this business for you to be able to design the chart of account. But also to know what type of reports are going to come out. If it's a charity, yes, the buzzwords need to change. You cannot be talking about profit in a charity setting. It's got to be, you know, surplus, you know, or income. You cannot be talking about turnover in a charity setting. Yeah, so you need to be able to design your chart of account and, and have the proper description. So even when you set up your charity, you know, template, yeah, in QuickBooks or Zero, you need to be able to make sure you use the correct template for the chart of account. These are all things that is so important for you to know in stage number one. So when you go in there, and if these things are not, yes, you can point that out and then be able to fix it. Don't just go, well, hold on, I'm here to just capture data, record data, and analyze data, reconcile data. You're not conscious, you don't know what is going on with the chart of account. You see a chart of account in a charity environment, and you begin to see the account headings is talking about turnover. Well, you know it's wrong. It's the wrong terminology. It's wrong. Yes? Yeah, in charities, we don't have turnover. No, we don't have turnover. We don't know what turnover is in charity. <laughs> yeah. So if your chart of account says turnover, you know something's wrong. Yeah. And it's for you to fix it. It's for you to pick it up and say this is not correct. Yes. And these are all the things I'm talking about. You know, it's so important. Yes. That when you are involved in stage one, yes, you need to have um, been thinking outside of the box, thinking beyond the numbers, beyond just the posting, it's all of these things that you need to know. After you design your chart of account, then come, surprise, surprise, what? The budget. That's the reason why we have the budget. The budget needs to go. 
yes? And when you have the budget to record it, you know, in your accounting system, you're going to post to the chart of account that you just designed. How wonderful, yes? To have a budget, you know, and the chart of account that's been designed, yeah, that is actually in line with the organization's activities, take into consideration, yes, the people who are involved, yes, and then knowing what the organization vision, the purpose is set out to do. It's a beautiful world when, you know, you're dancing, you know, to a tune that, you know, you really, really love coming and soothing. Yes, this is what accounting is all about. Yes, but when these things are not in place, when you don't know whether they should be in place, you know, it's not a nice feeling, a nice situation. Yes, okay. Number five, you see that, that budget. That budget needs to be there. Number six, it says the financial procedure manual. You have to have the financial procedure manual for the reasons I've just said. Yeah, this is how we do things here. So everybody needs to follow it. So financial procedure manual is important to have. We need to have that. So everybody, yeah, I even say sometimes, yeah, highly recommend it's bedtime reading, financial procedure manual. Yes. Okay. Bedtime reading, yeah, inverted commas. Yeah. You should know it inside out. Yeah, have it, have a copy. Yeah, have it in your bag. You know, wherever you're going, you know, you relax, you look at it. Okay, today, you know, I want to look at the, uh, uh, the uh, how I deal with, you know, uh, income, how I deal with, you know, payroll, how I deal with, you know, uh, expenses, how I deal with the bank, how I deal with HR. Yes. Is this what I'm doing? Actually, is what is described in the financial procedure manual. Ask yourself. Yes. This is how you improve it. Well, for me, this is the reason why we call stage number one management information systems. Because it's just beyond bookkeeping. It's just beyond just recording the data. Yeah. Um, as you can see there, you've got the accounting, you know, uh, skill set. you got the artificial intelligence in there. Yes. But also you've got the mindset. You could you could know your accounting double entry, you know, back to for you know inside out. If you don't have the right mindset, the positive mindset, to be able to deal with people, particularly when you're dealing with clients or you're dealing with your colleagues, yeah, to know how to respect them, to know how to leave them with that impression of increase, to know how to communicate with them, to know how to when you see your colleague is down, to be there for them, you know, to bring them up. You understand? Yeah, just to be there supportive. Yes. Uh that mindset. Yeah, that nothing is so difficult. That kind of mindset. If that is not there, you can have all the accounting skills in the world. I'm telling you, you're not going to be able to enjoy your job. Yeah, it's just going to be another day in the office. Oh, another day in the office. Another day in the office. Well, we don't want that, you know, to happen to anybody. Yeah, because you decide to become an accountant. Yeah, another day in the office. You know, oh, another day in the office. Yeah, the Monday blues, you know, some people say, yes. No, we want to be coming to the office, ready to serve. Yeah, knowing that you got to touch the lives of other people. Yeah, your colleagues. Yeah, but also if you are actually, you know, serving clients, yeah, those clients. Yes, you are and we together we are trusted partners. We are trusted advisors working with clients. Yes. So we need to have the right mindset. Yeah. To be able to do that. If not, this job, you know, probably is not for us. Yeah. If we say we want to do this, we don't have the right mindset, you know, to bring, to bear. Sorry. Yeah. That's why we call this stage, stage number one. Yeah. Management information systems. So all the different systems are coming together. Yes, uh, backed up with artificial intelligence. Yeah, QuickBooks Zero and Sage. When you allow things to flow for you, you could be sleeping. Yeah, transactions are being posted for you. Yes, artificial intelligence in practice. Yes, I cannot wait to the time when I'm speaking to Sage or QuickBooks and say, 
I want you to post this transaction that I've just received. This invoice that is coming from James, yes, I want you to post this, you know, for me to this particular code, you know, and then tell me, you know, uh, how much I owe James. Then, you know, the information just comes out. You say, hold on, you know, like now, if I put my Siri on and I say, hello, Siri, it comes up. Yeah. Hello, how can I help you? I want to be talking to the accounting, to QuickBooks. I want to be talking to zero. And this is coming, guys. Yes. So the artificial intelligence behind what we're doing, guys, yes, you cannot ignore it, is what I'm saying here. Yes. But backed up with all of this, you've got to have the right mindset yeah, to be able to do this, to have a pleasing mind, to have your mindset, you know, in serving, to have your mindset, you know, to be able to be there, you know, uh, to provide financial information, accurate financial information, yeah, to your clients. Yeah, their clients, you know, for whatever, so many different reasons, yeah, they need us. Yes. We are touching them. We're touching their lives. Remember this, yes. With what we are doing, we're touching the lives of those clients and they are even their families. Well, you got to have the right mindset to think about it this way, yeah. And if we don't have it, sorry guys, maybe this job is not for us, particularly yeah in the twenty first century, yeah. Uh, people need this. <laughs> yes, they need us. The need for what we do exists ever more. Yes, okay. But we now need to make it, you know, relevant. Yeah, uh, with our mindset. Yeah, okay. I will stop this file. Thank you very much for listening. I will take one or two questions if you have before we finish for today. Let me stop sharing. So I can see your faces. Any questions? One or two questions? Or any comments or observation? Stage number one, management information systems. Hello. Oh, hello. Hello. Oh. <laughs> Professor Ruben. Long time. <laughs> Where have you been hiding? Good afternoon to everybody. <laughs> Good afternoon, uh, Ruben. <laughs> wow, wow, wonderful, wonderful. Thank you very much. That is just a comment. That I, I missed the session. That is a <laughs> everything just flowing back. That is knowledge rejuvenated. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Yeah, thank you. so I just want to say thank you very much. For a session. Uh, anyway, I used to be listening to this a lot when I was, yeah, about two years ago. But when I went back to work, that is a, I forgot everything. But now that I'm back, everything is flowing back in such a way that if you are going for an interview, you should know exactly what or the type of question that you can be asking or should be able to answer questions as they are being asked. Because I just attended an interview yesterday about three days ago. Mm -hmm. They were asking me, oh, what type of uh, information will you be able to provide to management? I said, what? So all these things, <laughs> these are things that uh, if you attend services or uh, meeting like this ones, that they okay, should be able to answer without reading the answer anywhere else. If it's okay, for me to create management, I write the balance sheet, profit and loss accounts, uh, income statements, budget. These are the type of things that they, they will need you to say in an interview. But if you can't say this in an interview, they'll just say different means you don't even know what you are doing here, or why do we want to employ you, which you don't even know the information that uh, if management asks you for information, you'll be able to provide to them. So I just want to say thank you very much for your refreshment. Thank you, Robert. Thank you. Always a pleasure. Always a pleasure. Yes, and uh, and good to see you. Yes, welcome back. You know, good to see you. All right. Yes.
Uh, any 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 other question? Let me see. I think there's some something in the chat. No. Okay. Any questions? Any observations before we go? Don't be shy, accountants. Now you know. Don't be shy, particularly those of us who are who are who are actually implementing this. You know, on a day to day basis. You know, it'll be good to to hear your you know your experiences. Yes. Uh, and there is one thing again that I want to say. That is yes. Any question that comes here, it asks a question. There's no silly questions. It helps a lot. <laughs> Just ask any question that you think, even if you know that the person knows the uh, the response to that question, you ask, you'll be surprised. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I will add to this again, you know, and um um uh, uh, Maybe I'll come across as if somebody who is um I come from an auditing background. Yes, I love auditing. Yes, uh, professional skepticism to the core. Yes, I doubt everybody. You know, I doubt and doubt and doubt. Even myself, I doubt myself. I'm telling you. Yes, uh, so and I'm telling you, that's one skill set. You know that you need to have. I'm telling you, you know, don't allow anybody. You know, uh, with respect though. You know, with respect. Yes. Exactly. Okay? Yeah. yeah? Don't allow anybody to just you know, tell you anything and you and you buy it. Yeah. Uh I'm known for that. You tell me, you know, um, um, oh, this is what I'm doing, you know. Uh, you always know that I'm gonna ask you and say, show me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you always go, I'm gonna show me, yes. Uh, because you is what I'm saying, show me. It, it's it's an innate ability inside, you understand? It's it comes out naturally, yes. I want to confirm to see why. Yes, I want to know. I want to see myself, but also, you know, it's uh, another way of me updating myself. You know, because again, it could be that you're doing it in a different way that I've not done it before. So when you show me, and I see how you're doing it, you know, then I can learn from it. You know, so again, there's a lot you know, to pick up for this. You know, uh, professional criticism. Uh, that we are asked to, you know, to do at all times, yeah? So don't be shy to ask people, yeah? But also don't be shy to make comments, yes? Yes, uh, because you can only say something, yes? Uh, it doesn't matter if you're wrong, you know? Because if you're wrong, somebody will tell you you're wrong, yeah? But if it's correct, you know, or is right, you know, somebody affirm it, yes? Then uh, it, 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 it adds, you know, because it's repetition, yeah? Repeat, 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 repeat. And you and one thing that you guys would know for the guys who just joined us, um, you find out that it's the same it's the same discussion every week. Yeah, it looks like it's repetition. Yes, and I hope you don't see it that way. I hope the mindset will allow you not to see it this way. Yes, because you know, um uh if you don't, yeah, you might think, well, hold on, well, it's telling me the same thing again. You know, I've had this over and over. Well, you know what? Just like um awareness. Yes, awareness is like the sun. It says when the sun shines on something, yes, there is always light. Yes, when the sun shines, you know, on things, yes, they become, you know, so clear. Yeah, okay. So repetition, 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 you find that, that you know, oh, more light just said this. Oh, my goodness, you know, the penny drops. Yes, it's been saying this over and over and over, but today, all of a sudden, yeah, I'm hearing more like saying something different. Well, it's not different. Molecular accountancy formula is the same. Yeah, it doesn't change. But you know what changes? It's your it's your awareness that changes. And this again, we're talking about the mindset here. It's the awareness that changes. Yes, today, all of a sudden, you are hearing something completely different and you resonate to it. Yes, with it, because, you know, this is something that you just don't at work. Yes, like my colleagues, you know, I'll give you an example. I, I like to pick up, you know, my colleagues, I'm telling you, I love them to bits, I'm telling you, because they allow me, they allow me to talk, you know, and then and they expose them a little bit, you know, and um, uh, and I'm sure they, they will understand, you know, they're used to me now, you know, okay. And um, I went to them and said, well, can you tell me, you know, what happened uh, last month, June? Can you tell me also what happened yesterday? And uh, you got some of my colleagues who are trying to bluff me, you know, well, hold on. Well, you know, I'm just, you know, please, can you show me, you know, what happened yesterday? 
Yes. What I'm trying to do is just to try and find out, you know, well, hold on. Uh, is he thinking the way I'm thinking? Well, if a transaction happened yesterday, yes, think about it. The, if the bank is connected, yeah, that's the first thing I'm, I'm now going at now. If the bank is connected, then transactions happened yesterday, yes? All you got to do is to refresh that button, you know, so the transactions download. So you'll be able to see from the bank statement what happened. Well, if you're not able to tell me that, what happened yesterday, either today, then I've got a problem. <laughs> yeah? Yes? Uh, you can tell me, oh, well, uh, well, this, or well, that. No, sorry. You should be able to tell me. Yes? Another example, my colleagues were telling me, oh, well, hold on, well, we're working on this and this and that. So, well, hold on. How many transactions did we have in a month? Tell me. How many transactions? We counted it and we divided it you know, by the number of days that we have, you know, in the month. And you can see, you know, on average, you got, is it three transactions a day? Three transactions a day. And you're telling me you're still struggling, you know, to record that, you know. And what I'm trying to do here, and this is applied for all of us, what I'm trying to do here is the mindset, yeah? Because, you know, maybe we're looking at it, you know, it looks so daunting, it looks so, you know, so problematic or whatever it is. But when you narrow it down to three transactions a, a day, yes, I have to record three transactions a day for a business, yes, then that is not difficult. Three, number one, two, three in a day. Yes, on average. You see, what I'm trying to do is to break it down to say, you know what? Uh, life is not that bad, really. Three transactions, if I have to record it in the day, sorry, I can do it. So again, I'm saying, guys, you know, uh, that's why it's good to share. That's why it's good to talk. That's why it's good to, to interact. That's why it's good to, you know, uh, liaise with you guys. But get the fundamentals right. Yes, guys, get the fundamentals right. Yeah, the reason why I'm talking like this is because of the fundamentals. Yeah, yes. The fundamentals are so, so important, yes? And you develop on it on a day-by-day -day basis. And they love for what you do as well, yeah? And if you love doing this, you know, guys, seriously, yes? And uh, uh, it makes a lot of difference. But if you don't love doing it, you know, you come in because I'm doing it for my mom or my brother or my sister or my cousin or my, you know what? Sorry, it's not going to work. <laughs> yes? Yeah. Let it be for you. Yeah, again, that's the mindset. You want to do it for you because you love doing it. If this is what you're going to do for the rest of your life. You know, I've been doing this for 30 years now. I'm telling you guys, yes? I'm telling you, I've got more to go. Yes? Yeah? Robots, yes? We were talking the other day, yes? I'm, I'm going to do this, I'm telling you. My family, they know that they're going to be they're going to be taking me to the grave, you know, and then we're talking accounting, I'm telling you. Because <laughs> I, I love this subject so much, Yeah? Uh, so if this is for you, yeah, I'm telling you, yes, uh, you know, make make up your mind now, decision, make your mind up now that this is what I want to do for the rest of my life. And I'm telling you, once you make that decision, that's it. Yeah? Don't procrastinate. Yeah? <laughs> Don't. Yeah? Make the decision and go for it. Yeah? And just be open. Yeah? Accountant, we don't like to be criticized, you know? I hated it, you know, at some time it went... Uh, 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 guys used to say to you more like, you know, sorry, you're wrong. Oh my goodness, you know. And when you're wrong, I'm telling somebody tells you. <laughs> but now I'm telling you, now I'm so open. You're telling me I'm wrong. Okay, that's fine. I'll, I'll fix it. <laughs> but that's the mindset that we need to bring to work. Yeah. Okay. So we can enjoy it. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much, you know, for uh, listening. Uh, time has gone so quickly. Yes. And, um, uh, and thank you for your patience and your uh, just being here. Yes. Uh, again, we're asking, you know, please, please, if you're able to turn your camera on in future, it will help. You know, it, it'd be just be nice to see faces. Yes. Uh, to see, you know, where you're coming from, where you are logging in. You know, uh, I always preach about this, you know, uh, accounting. Yes. Uh, it's a very, 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 what you call it now? Um, well, it's a professional, you know, but also, you know, it transcends, you know, a lot of our, what's it called, boundaries, yes, 
uh, think about it. We're dealing with financial information, yes, um, where that information is so sensitive. Yes, financial information. Yeah, uh, people are trusting us with their finances. So when people say bank statements, sometimes, you know, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for a bank statement from a client, you know, bank statement. You know, so I want to ask you a question here. Take this with you. How many, you know, people, yeah, do you share your bank statement with? Your bank statement, your personal bank statement. If I came None. to you now and say, please, can you give me, can I see your bank statement? Yes. Would you be, give it, would you be able to give it to me? As a wife or? Yeah. But this is what we're dealing with here. Clients, yes, are entrusting us. Yes. With their financial information. That, that they hold so close to their chest. That's the same thing we do. We hold it close to our chest. Yes. And, uh, and we come down here, you know, we're dealing with that. And then we don't want to show up. We don't want to show, you know, you know, if you are faces, particularly now we're working remotely. Yeah, the trust element, the trust issue. So again, I'm appealing to you guys. Yes, okay. Uh, some of you might have reason why you don't turn your camera on. Yes, but you know what? The mindset, yeah. Remember, we got a mindset, discipline, and training here. Yeah, when you come in into the space, into this space as an accountant, yeah, if it, this is what you're going to do for the rest of your life, you've got to be accountable. You've got to be present, I'm telling you guys. Yeah? Uh, that's my appeal to you guys, yes? Okay? Because people want to deal with people that they can see. Yes? Sorry, more right, show up. Yes? Come on. Yeah? Okay? Uh, because, you know, I'm trusting you with my financial information, sensitive information. Yes? Uh, I want to know. Hold on. Yeah, it's more like the person that is talking to me. Yes, uh, and that person is present. Yeah, so and that's how we show respect as well, though. Yeah, for the people. Yeah. So again, all of these things, you know, we're going to be talking about it. It's not only just accounting, double entry, you know, debit here, credit there, you know, uh, uh, sales ledger, purchase ledger, uh, trial balance, bank. No, no, no. It's more than that, guys. Yeah, the attitude that we bring to bear. The love for what we do. People need to see. They need to see us smiling at all times. Yes, you cannot be sad and dealing with people's, you know, financial information. Otherwise, you know, it will translate to negativity in their balance sheet if you don't smile. <laughs> Seriously. Yes. Yeah. Well, I don't want to deal with the accountant who does his smile. Seriously, if I was a client, yeah. Huh? What's the problem? <laughs> show up yeah all right thank you oh, very much guys sorry. james yeah. had a, a comment or question he had his hand up oh sorry professor sorry yes professor james over to you sir you got it you got the floor now yes, the, last, the last one yes you got it you got the last say james i have the last said um it's very very interesting how uh mindset we we can't run away from it because <laughs> in relationships Mindset is key because when you are dealing with someone, you said, "Oh, they changed their mind," or maybe that's what he's thinking. And uh, <laughs> when you are saying this, it looks like, "Oh, why is it being there?" But now, when you say the accounting skill, you say AI, but those two are not enough. Mindset. <laughs> Even in this training, I'm finding myself to, to to kind of to to follow the through this hour. It's mindset. Because, I mean, the mindset, the mind can drift. Oh, you want to drink? Oh, do you want to drink? Oh, you are looking out and something else comes. Again, it's the mindset. To set it in such a way it is so focused that it does not run away from that which is where it's supposed to be. And it is me who is supposed to set it. Not Mona, not Sharon, not, not Robert, not Sukesh. It is me who is supposed to set it. Uh, I, that, that's what I wanted to comment because I think that we take it for granted. Uh, at times I'm blaming someone else, but actually no, it's not the circumstances. It is the mindset. Yeah. It all begins from there. Then I can do what I have to do. I can be. I think I can. We can have so many things for this. 
but it is the mindset. And uh, I think I think that's the aspect I wanted to comment. We, may we, <laughs> may God, yes, I would say my God, because he created us. May he help us, because that's where it all began. He gave us a mind, and the mind can go places, can take us places, if we are setting it the right way. Yeah. Thank you. Fantastic. <laughs> Thank you very much, James. Thank you. Uh, yes, I can tell you, uh, you are uh, um, a product, you know, a student, you know, of, uh, yeah, you know, and uh, no, it is huge, it is huge. We drift, you know, from time to time. I drift, you know, even my coach, you know, Bob, the, the old Bob, he says, I drift. But see what the difference is, you know, and uh, see, we all drift. This is a center, you know, we always have to be in the center. So you, you keep your eye in the center. Mm -hmm. When you drift, you know, you're going like this. Yes. So for him, Yes, and um, when he drifts, well, everybody drifts. So he drifts like this, then he catch himself and come back again to the center. Yeah. So for us now, we are drifting like this. You know, we go all the way before we realize, oh, we are drifted. Mm -hmm. So we, now it takes so much time for us to come back again to the center. Yeah, that's why we're procrastinating. That's why things are not happening. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So all we got to learn, you know, well, you cannot stop being drifting. You, you're gonna, we're gonna drift. You, you are, we are a human being. You know, we all, we all, you know. There are times you wake up in the morning, sorry, you know, and uh, however much, you know, you got to wheel, you know, <laughs> yes, you do not, you're just not okay. Yes, you're drifting. Yeah. Okay. So the moment you catch yourself drifting, come back again to the center. And what makes you come back again to the center, you know, it's all this bit of habits, you know, that these good habits that we have. Yeah. And, uh, and the accounting, there's so many good habits, you know. Yeah, just to be thinking about a client. You know, in the morning now, I got my client. Yeah, long list of clients. Every morning, I'm looking at them. You know, I'm feeling their temperature. Yes? Mm -hmm. I, I'm feeling their temperature. I'm telling you. I'm going through the client. I say, okay, I'm, okay, the next one. Only the next one. The next one. I'm feeling them. I'm telling you. You know, uh, it's a habit for me. Yes? And when I get, you know, so many clients, you know, that, you know, they, they make my heart beat, you know, so fast, then I know, well, hold on, uh, my colleagues, they know. <laughs> <laughs> but there are times I go through them, you know, I just feel, you know, well, you know, uh, it's it's all okay. It's okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But even if it's not okay, guys, you know, it's still going to be okay. Yeah. Uh, I think there's a question here, which I don't think I'm going to be able to answer here now because time has gone. But the one thing I want to bring here is here. Now break this one. The question here is, I don't know if you guys saw it. It says, um, how powerful is this? There is a set of account that has been filed. And now, you know, the balance sheet is, or whatever it is, is not tying up, or the bank balance is not tying up, you know, to the accounts. Yes? Out of the bank statements. Okay. All right. So now, there's an issue here. How do we do? How do we sort this out? Well, the first thing is is these are things that are sort. You know, you can sort it out. You know, it's no problem. Yeah, that's the first thing. Yes, there's no problem that cannot be sorted out. Hold that. Hold that mindset. There's nothing. Yes, no accounting issue that cannot be resolved. Yeah. Okay. Hold that mindset. The next thing is the authority. Yes, the authority. And the authority is the next bit that you go to now. So in accounting, we go authority. So now the accounting standards, there's an accounting standards. Yeah, that talks about, you know, for example, prior year adjustment. What do you do? Yeah, what is prior year adjustment? You know, how do I go about dealing with it? Well, I want to ask you, Professor Shukesh, yes, to go and read about prior year adjustment. Yes, it's a massive accounting standard. Yes. Okay. So go and watch it and see what he says about prior year adjustment. Yeah. And then when you read that, and then you come, let's have a conversation. Yeah. Okay. But there's nothing that we cannot resolve. Yeah. Because accounts, think about it. Yeah. I want to leave you with this. You know, account is full of what? Um, estimate, judgment, and assumptions. Yeah. That's what it is. Yeah. So after the event, there's so much things that happen. No wonder, you know, that we have those, you know, uh, those standards, you know, that are helping us. Prior year event, yes, or prior year adjustment. But also when you're looking forward, you've got things like subsequent events. 
yes, or post-balance sheet, okay? Yeah, these are all things that, you know, helping us to be able to resolve issues. Yeah, it's never going to be the end of the world. Yeah, in accounting, yeah? So hold that mindset. Let nobody tell you otherwise, yeah? Okay? Um, people make mistakes. That's why people are. Yeah, systems, procedures, protocols, yeah, they are not always going to be 100%. I'm not saying we, we have to legislate for that. You understand? Uh, it's a, always a continuous improvement. That's why we need to, you need to be really focused and know our stuff. Yeah, knowing that whenever you're doing something, yeah, you want to be able to make sure you consider all, you know, the different aspects. Yeah, you give it your best. But your best comes with, you know, that understanding and that knowledge base. And that knowledge base needs to be improved, you know, uh, developed all the time. You're reading, exposing, um, meetings like this. Come ready with questions, you know. Come, you know, ready to contribute. Yes? It will help you to close that gap. Yeah? So thank you very much, guys, for all your contributions, for, you know, being here. I look forward to seeing you all next week. Yeah? Same time, same place. Yes? Uh, God bless you all. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Take Thank care you. now. Yes. God bless you. Bye-bye. Yes.